talking about conflicts, tensions between Russia and the West are at uh, an all-time high. Five days after the United States and Western nations expelled Russian diplomats, Moscow has retaliated. In an hour and a half long press briefing, an animated spokesperson from the Russian Foreign Ministry provided a point-by-point -point rebuttal to the charges made by Britain in the spy poisoning case. And then came the announcement, Moscow expelled 60 American diplomats, 58 from Moscow, two from the American consulate in Yekaterinburg. Moscow also withdrew consent to the opening of the American consulate in St. Petersburg after the results of a poll on Twitter which had asked participants to decide which office they wanted shuttered. The move is not first of a kind. Last year, President Putin had ordered that uh, the U.S. Embassy in Moscow reduce its staff by 755 employees after American sanctions against Russia for meddling in the presidential election. But the reduction involved only the excess staff like security guards, translators, cooks and so on. So on. But with a stark reduction in diplomatic attaches, bilateral ties will only be strained further. Washington, D.C. remains unfazed, firmly backing their ally, the United Kingdom. At least on the face of its White, White House seems to be in no mood to back down, criticizing the Kremlin for its actions. I remind you that there is no justification for the Russian response. Our actions were motivated purely by the attack on the United Kingdom, the attack on a British citizen and his daughter. Remember, this is the first time that a weapons-grade nerve agent, Novichok, has been used outside of war on, on uh, allied soil. We have not taken these steps lightly. We've taken these steps in concert with our allies across the world. 28 countries now join the United States backing our allies in the decision to have kicked out 153 Russian spies from the various countries. America's crackdown comes as a surprise for many as President Donald Trump has been wary of rebuking his Russian counterpart. The American president's Twitter happy fingers have refrained from making any comment on the Skripal poisoning case on the microblogging site. In fact, days after Britain accused Russia of poisoning the former double agent, the U.S. president picked his phone to congratulate Vladimir Putin on his re-election, something that has come under scrutiny in his own country. In terms of a so-called congratulatory call, that is something that we do. That is something that past presidents have done. Even you may not like a country, you may have difficulties with a country, but that doesn't mean yeah, that you don't pick up the phone and have a conversation. The reality is, whether we like it or not, we have to have a relationship with a government as large and as significant as Russia. Though the United States claim that uh, the UK's word is enough, analysts believe that Britain has not provided enough evidence to prove its point. I think many countries in the world, including in Europe, are hoping for better relations with Russia um, so that there can be cooperation, not just confrontation towards solving common problems and working towards economic development and stability. Britain is using its still considerable uh, diplomatic pressure uh, particularly with its uh, ally, the United States, to try and pressure countries to take actions, regardless of the fact that, as behind the scenes I've got no doubt is being discussed in these European capitals, that the British government has produced very little, if any, evidence to support its claims. And Russia, too, has accused the UK and the USA of arm-twisting other European nations into sanctions against Britain. Uh, because uh, even nations like Germany, who otherwise have maintained good ties with Russia, have backed the United Kingdom. Berlin expelled four diplomats, four Russian diplomats. Russia called for a meeting with ambassadors of France and Germany, among nine other European Union nations, to send a note of protest. But the diplomats made their support for Britain very clear. Ein Interesse, dass die Menschen in Deutschland, die Menschen in Russland sich verstehen. Wir bleiben dazu bereit und offen zum Dialog. Und zum anderen, angesichts der schlimmen Vorfälle von Salisbury, ist es an der russischen Regierung, alles zu unternehmen, Klarheit und Transparenz zu schaffen und berechtigte offene Fragen zu beantworten. Meanwhile, Britain is looking to tighten the news further. Home Secretary Amber Rudd has asked British officials to review Tier 1 visas, which allow people who have more than £2 million of investment in Britain to stay in the country. From trade to investment to diplomatic ties, a lot is at stake here, and there is 
No urgent resolution of the crisis. The world could be staring at another Cold War or a Cold War-like situation.